right, guys, so another update for the board. Um, I am getting ready to get the Helix permanently placed on the board with some Velcro. And uh, in order to do that, I have to make some more modifications to the original board. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and recess the new feet holes. And I know a lot of people take them off, but I kinda like the stability of when you're moving the board that it has that extra foothold. I'm gonna go ahead and cut all the way through a ventilation hole for the board. I don't know if you guys know, but on the bottom of the Helix, there is ventilation holes for when the DSP chips get hot. I'm gonna continue leaving this empty without Velcro. Um, that'll give me about an eighth of an inch uh, spacing to let the board cool. Recess this right here. For the mission engineering pedal, um, instead of recessing the holes because I keep changing my mind, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out this template. Simple quarter inch birch wood from Michaels. And um, recess the heads, put this back underneath the uh, pedal, and then I can move this wherever I want because I continually move and change my mind. As far as on the board, um, build up modifications, building some holes um, that I no longer need and uh, kind of remove some wiring because of the excess lengths now that I have to run the cable. Uh, so at one point I think I will recut this um, baseboard just to give me a better fitting, make it nice and even and recess some of these cables, make it look nice and pretty. But that's done the line. And um, really, at this point, getting set to get a power supply put right here. And uh, that'll remove this need for the uh, power strip. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the router out and get ready to get the stuff plunged and get it down. All right, so we are underway in the routing. And what I've done is uh, I have a rubber feet example, or a tester, I'm gonna put it inside. Yeah, uh, excuse me, hiccups. Recess and uh, just make sure it's flush enough it to go further down or not and uh, that's just perfect with the velcro on top of it so that's the depth I'm going to want. Go ahead and recut uh, the, these holes. Just finished cutting the ventilation hole. Here's the finished underplate. Um, it's not perfect but it gets the job done. Recess the top screws. Um, so I can put velcro down. Now I can move this guy wherever I want and when I go to pull it up it's not going to bend the plate. So there's that guy. All right, so this is the final result. Uh, of course, this has been the layout for a while, with the exception this time, um, I went ahead and removed the lava cable for the input for the guitar, since I had this apart. Removed the bottom plate, the aluminum plate for the mission engineering, replaced it with a quarter inch pine. Um, recessed the screw so I can sit that down. The helix foots have been flushed in the bottom with the vent underneath the, uh, the pedal board. Backs have been suited with the 90 degree uh, ICE cable, AK cables in the back, with the exception of the lava cable that is running to the function pedal. Other than that, uh, super happy that this one is done. It's been sitting for a while. Uh, but until next time, this is the most current version of my Jamboard.